Hello and welcome back to the Immortal News family. In today's heartfelt video, we bring to you the latest updates on the passing of some truly remarkable individuals within the last 24 hours. We also have a sad update regarding Breaking Bad star Giancarlo Esposito. As a part of the Immortal News family, we are committed to honoring and remembering those who have made a lasting impact in our lives and the world. If this video touches your heart, or if the stories of these extraordinary people have moved you, please show your respect and remembrance by giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you for joining us in this moment of reflection and tribute. Number 9. Eddie Sutton, lead singer of the iconic New York hardcore metal band Leeway, passed away at the age of 59 on April 20, 2024. He'd been battling cancer for several years. Eddie, known for his powerful vocals and moving performances, was a driving factor in the hardcore and crossover thrash movements of the 1980s and 1990s. Eddie formed Leeway alongside guitarist AJ Novello. The band put out four studio albums, Born to Expire, Desperate Measures, Adult Crash, and Open Mouth Kiss. Despite never achieving mainstream commercial success, Leeway developed a devoted fan base and remained a fixture in the New York hardcore scene. His distinctive vocal style was influenced by a diverse spectrum of performers, including R&B, punk, and metal. He introduced a melodic and harmonious style to hardcore music, distinguishing Leeway from other bands of the moment. Throughout his career, he has shared the stage with well-known bands such as Bad Brains, Exodus, and Testament. His music and performances were praised for their raw intensity and enthusiasm. His passion for music and the hardcore subculture had a lasting impact. Fans and musicians will remember his legacy. Tributes to Eddie Sutton. Number 8. Howie Schwab, the sports trivia expert and star of ESPN's Stump the Schwab, passed away at the age of 63. No cause of death was given. His tenure with ESPN lasted more than two decades, starting in 1987. He produced several ESPN shows, but he was best recognized for his position on Stump the Schwab, where he challenged competitors in trivia competitions from 2004 to 2006. His extensive knowledge and rapid recall made him a tough rival and a favorite among sports enthusiasts. Aside from his role on Stump the Schwab, he had a huge impact behind the scenes, working as a coordinating producer for many ESPN shows including SportsCenter and Outside the Lines. He also helped to build ESPN.com and worked on other shows such as First Take and Sunday Fantasy Insider. ESPN pundit Dick Vitale paid tribute to Schwab on social media, expressing his regret while also honoring his loyalty and dedication. He was recently at my home, Vitale wrote. He had a variety of health difficulties but was in excellent spirits when he came to visit. May he rest in peace. Schwab continued to work in sports trivia after leaving ESPN in 2013 due to cost-cutting efforts, joining Sports Jeopardy as a consultant and writer. Howie Schwab's passion for sports trivia and contributions to the sports broadcasting industry made a lasting mark. He will be remembered for his expertise and enthusiasm. Tributes to Howie Schwab. Number 7. Stephanie Sparks, the former host of Golf Channel's reality series Big Break, passed away at the age of 50. She was born in Wheeling, West Virginia, and was an exceptional golfer who earned All-American honors while attending Duke University. She had remarkable success, winning the 1992 North and South Women's Amateur at Pinehurst. She competed for the United States in the 1994 Curtis Cup and had a professional career that was cut short due to injury. Her participation on the LPGA Tour was restricted to one season in 2000 due to persistent back pain. Despite these disappointments, her passion for the game and engaging personality helped her become a popular figure in the golfing world. In addition to presenting Big Break, Sparks was a regular on the Golf Channel, 
where she oversaw the golf with style and playing lessons with the Pros Series. She also played Alexa Sterling, a three-time U.S. Women's Amateur Champion in the 2004 film Bobby Jones, Stroke of Genius, co-starring Jim Cavizel. Her hosting and reporting abilities, together with her extensive knowledge of the sport, earned her a respectable and remembered reputation in golf broadcasting. Her untimely death has left the golfing community in mourning. A private family service will be held at Kepner Funeral Home in Elm Grove, West Virginia, to commemorate her life and legacy. Tributes to Stephanie Sparks. Number six, David Pryor, the former governor and U.S. Senator from Arkansas, passed away at the age of 89 on April 20, 2024. He passed away from natural causes in Little Rock, surrounded by his family. He was a notable figure in Arkansas politics, noted for his dedication to public service and advocacy for the state's citizens. He was a popular Democrat who served in many roles, including the Arkansas legislature, the United States House of Representatives, and as governor from 1974 to 1978. He then became a United States Senator, serving until 1997. Pryor helped pass major laws, including the 1988 Taxpayers' Bill of Rights, which enhanced people rights when dealing with the IRS. He was also noted for going undercover to examine nursing homes while serving in Congress, which influenced his commitment to elder care and reform. Warm accolades came from both sides of the political spectrum. Former President Bill Clinton regarded Pryor as one of Arkansas's best servant leaders, praising his honest, compassionate, and full of common sense attitude. Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders, a Republican, hailed his contribution in moving the state away from contentious racial politics. She went on to say that his charisma and moderate politics made him a force at the ballot box for decades. Following his political career, Pryor remained involved in public life becoming the first dean of the University of Arkansas Clinton School of Public Service. He was also a prominent opponent of the nuclear arms race among collegiate football programs, opposing the huge construction of the Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium. David Pryor's life was defined by service, compassion, and a dedication to bettering his neighborhood and state. He leaves a history of public service and bipartisanship. Tributes to David Pryor. Number 5. Ronnie Garcia, a former pitching prospect for the Houston Astros, passed away at the age of 24 on April 20, 2024, in a traffic accident in Dominican Republic. Garcia was a rising star in the Astros minor league system. His baseball journey began in 2016 when he signed with the Astros as a 16-year-old international prospect. By 2021, he had advanced to the United States, achieving a 2.11 ERA across the Florida Complex League and Class A Fayetteville. He continued to impress in 2022, allowing just one run in 18.1 innings. Throughout his career, Garcia posted a 3.42 ERA with 9 wins, 14 saves, and 200 strikeouts in 186.2 innings. His exceptional talent and positive demeanor earned him respect from teammates and coaches. Garcia had recently signed with the York Revolution of the Atlantic League, where he was expected to play a key role in the bullpen. His addition was highly anticipated by the team's manager, Rick Forney, who remarked, He's an intriguing young pitcher. I'm excited to get my eyes on him. The baseball community mourns his loss, remembering his talent and potential. Tributes to Ronnie Garcia. Number 4. Roman Gabriel, a former American football quarterback in the NFL, passed away at the age of 83 on April 20, 2024. He was a professional football pioneer, known for his strong arm and Filipino-American roots. 
Gabriel was born in Wilmington, North Carolina, and despite having asthma, he excelled at high school football. He continued to excel at North Carolina State University, winning two All-American awards and setting numerous school and conference records. His outstanding college performance led to his selection as the second overall pick in the 1962 NFL Draft. He played 16 seasons in the NFL, 11 with the Los Angeles Rams and 5 for the Philadelphia Eagles. He was recognized for his flexibility, playing both first base and outfield. He won the NFL Most Valuable Player Award in 1969 and was selected to the Pro Bowl in 1967, 1968, 1969, and 1973. He still owns multiple Rams career marks, including 154 touchdown passes and 3,313 passes attempted. Following his playing career, Gabriel worked briefly as a coach and broadcaster for CBS, as well as at Cal Poly Pomona and the World League of American Football. He also starred in films and television shows, demonstrating his talent outside of football. His legacy is defined by his accomplishments and breaking down barriers as the first NFL quarterback of Filipino-American ethnicity. He inspired many people with his resilience, talent, and dedication to the game, tributes to Roman Gabriel. Number 3. David McCarty, the former Major League Baseball first baseman and outfielder, passed away at the age of 54, following a cardiac event in Oakland, California. Throughout his 11-season career he was recognized for his flexibility, having played for the Minnesota Twins, San Francisco Giants, Seattle Mariners, Kansas City Royals, Tampa Bay Devil Rays, Oakland Athletics, and Boston Red Sox. His career highlights include his 2000 season with the Royals, when he set career highs in numerous categories, and his tenure with the Red Sox, where he delivered clutch singles in key games, he was unique in that he batted right-handed while throwing left-handed, which is uncommon among MLB position players. Aside from his on-field successes, he was noted for his versatility as a utility player, and sometimes pitcher. In 2004, he had three pitching appearances for the Red Sox, striking out Jason Wirth and Rafael Palmeiro, among others. After his playing career, McCarty worked as a Red Sox analyst on NESN from 2005 to 2008. McCarty was born in Houston, Texas, and graduated from Sharpstown High School before going on to Stanford University. He was an All-American collegiate golfer before entering the MLB and lives in Piedmont, California, with his wife, novelist Monica McCarty, and their two daughters. David McCarty's career was defined by determination, adaptability, and a strong work ethic giving him a permanent place in baseball fans' hearts. Tributes to David McCarty. Number 2. Naomi Moldovan, a Romanian singer, songwriter, and actress, passed away at the age of 46, due to a stroke in a German hospital. Known professionally as Naomi, she gained recognition after participating in the Romanian pre-selection for the Eurovision Song Contest in 2014 with her song If You Love, where she placed 10th. Her career was filled with significant achievements. She set a record by winning 75 awards in 103 appearances at national music festivals in Romania, a record confirmed by Radio Romania in 1998. Her soprano vocal range made her a standout in the Romanian music scene, and her participation in Eurovision gave her international exposure. Born in Romania, Naomi grew up in an orphanage after being abandoned shortly after birth. Despite a challenging start, she developed a passion for music at a young age. She later moved to Bucharest, where she continued her musical education and eventually became a prominent figure in the Romanian music industry. She also supported the LGBTQ community in Romania, often appearing on television and in the press to advocate for their rights. In her career, Naomi collaborated with various artists and released several singles, including If You Love and I Admit I Missed You. She also acted in the 1997 film Crazy Stranger, showcasing her talents beyond music. Her story is one of resilience and determination. Her life and career serve as an inspiration to many, and her voice will be remembered for its unique contribution to Romanian culture. 
Tributes to Naomi Moldovan Today's Top Headlines News 1. Giancarlo Esposito, the talented actor known for his role as Gus Fring in the hit series Breaking Bad, recently opened up about a difficult period in his life. In 2008, Esposito faced severe financial hardships, even to the point of almost declaring bankruptcy. During an interview with Sirius XM's Jim and Sam, the 65-year-old actor revealed that he was deeply worried about his family's financial security during that time. His concerns were so overwhelming that he briefly considered drastic measures to ensure his family's future. Esposito shared that he thought about an extreme option to provide for his children, but quickly realized the emotional toll it would have on them. He knew that no amount of money could replace the importance of a father in his children's lives. Instead, he held on to hope and continued to push through the tough times, determined to be there for his kids. His big break came with the role of Gus Fring in Breaking Bad, which became a turning point in his career. The success of the show brought him widespread recognition and led to more opportunities, including roles in The Mandalorian and The Boys. Esposito's story is a testament to resilience and the power of holding on during life's most challenging moments. Despite the struggles, he found the light at the end of the tunnel and emerged stronger, reminding us all that even in the darkest times, there's always hope. News 2. Brazilian bodybuilder and fitness influencer Jonas Filho, also known as Jonas Big, has passed away at the age of 29 after a brief hospitalization. Jonas, who had a following of over 10,000 on Instagram, was admitted to a hospital in Fortaleza with symptoms of pneumonia. He shared photos of himself in the hospital, thanking his followers for their support. Unfortunately, despite the best efforts of medical professionals, he passed away a few days later, leaving his fans and friends in shock. Jonas was a pioneer in his field, being the first bodybuilder in Sierra to compete professionally. He often spoke about the challenges and sacrifices that come with the sport, sharing his experiences to inspire others. In a post from last year, he mentioned the physical pain that sometimes came with his intense training, highlighting the resilience required to succeed in bodybuilding. Since his passing, tributes have been pouring in from fans, friends, and fellow bodybuilders, celebrating his achievements and the positive impact he had on others. A personal trainer from Rio de Janeiro described him as a hero, while another friend remembered him as a top guy. Jonas is survived by his parents, who are mourning the loss of their beloved son. His memory will continue to inspire those who knew him, reminding us all of the dedication and passion required to pursue our dreams. News 3. Fashion influencer Serbi Jane, known for her vibrant personality and stylish content, has sadly passed away at the age of 30 after a long battle with ovarian cancer. Serbi, who had thousands of followers on Instagram, was a source of inspiration for many as she faced her illness with strength and positivity. She was cremated on April 19th in Ghaziabad. Serbi had been fighting cancer for a significant time, and in her last Instagram post, she shared a glimpse of her journey from her hospital bed. Despite the challenges, she always managed to keep her spirits up, engaging with her followers and encouraging them to cherish each moment. In her post, she mentioned that she spent most of the past two months in the hospital and that her treatment was tough. This was her second battle with cancer. She was first diagnosed at the age of 27 and underwent a major surgery. Even through the pain and recovery, she continued to create content, sharing her journey with her followers to raise awareness about cancer and inspire others to stay strong. Ovarian cancer is a serious health concern for women, often difficult to detect early. It is one of the most common cancers in women and can be particularly challenging due to its subtle symptoms. Serbi's story underscores the importance of early detection and ongoing research to help improve outcomes for women facing this illness. Serbi's family and followers remember her for her courage and resilience. Her life and message continue to touch the hearts of many, reminding us all to stay hopeful and cherish the time we have with our loved ones. Number 1. Kai Chidenios, a Finnish composer and musician, passed away at the age of 84 on April 20, 2024, in Helsinki. Kaidenius was well known for his left-wing political songs that resonated across Finland and beyond. 
Kaidinia studied at the Sibelius Academy, Finland's premier music school, and the University of Helsinki, where he developed his unique musical style that blended avant-garde elements with politically charged lyrics. His work gained attention with the Lapua Opera and songs like I Love You, You and Youth Tango, which became timeless classics in Finnish music. In 1971, Chidenius co-founded Com Theater, a cutting-edge theater company, with Kaisa Korhonen, who was his wife at the time. The group became a significant force in Finland's cultural landscape, challenging social norms through their performances. Chidenius also released music with Love Records, a popular Finnish record label. His legacy includes albums like Songs, The Most Beautiful Love Songs, and Dreams Return to Helsinki. His impact on Finnish music and his advocacy for progressive causes made him a beloved figure. Tributes to Kai Chidenius.